And partly because it's too terrifying a reality to fully believe. I don't even know what would happen to you if you fully believed it. Hey, Dr. Peterson, I want to respect your time, so I'm just going to get right to it. If Christ really does exist in both worlds, then it would force you to question everything you've ever known about what the world is and how it functions. It's terrifying because Jesus is supposed to be an ideal concept or thought for us to strive towards in the mental world. He's not supposed to come out of the mental world, put on human flesh, and come into our physical world in order to be a sacrifice for his creation out of unadulterated love. This is something you find so beautiful yet terrifying at the same time. And as you pointed out, if this is true, then you'd be forced to wonder what this would do to your understanding of reality because the foundations and the framework for everything that you believe that you know would suddenly crumble. This is the exact same situation that the first Christians found themselves in. It was too great to believe, but they also had to deal with the facts of the matter.